let's see how we can monitor a specific web application with the help of Prometheus. We will be using Nginx. So in order for Prometheus to be able to scrape the data, we need to pass the data using a specific metrics format. The Nginx Prometheus exporter allows us uh, to convert the data uh, to a Prometheus uh, metrics data. So in order to use this Nginx Prometheus exporter, first we'll need to grab useful uh, data of the website usage directly from Nginx. Um, so this is our uh, configuration. Since we are in a Kubernetes environment, uh, we'll need to patch uh, the configuration of the Nginx. We will be using config map. Uh, the beauty of this is that the moment we would like to change something into this configuration, we can reapply the config map and it will automatically uh, restart our deployment and Nginx will accept the new configuration. Nice to notice here is that we are revealing a page called Nginx status and it will enable this uh, step status, which is actually the produced uh, statistical uh, metric information for us. After we have uh, configured the Nginx, let's see its deployment. Inside of the Nginx deployment, we'll be having two containers. The first one will be a pure Nginx server patched with our uh, configuration. Uh, so uh, we are loading up the configuration uh, from a volume and uh, we are placing it inside of etc nginx conf d. And this is our volume. Uh, basically, uh, we are loading up from the config map, nginx config map. So from this name here, uh, we're loading the values and then we're grabbing uh, the specific key default conf. So this key and all the data that we have in there, uh, we are saving it into default.conf uh, file. And then uh, this default conf file will be using it inside of the mount path so it can be uh, visible inside of our Nginx uh, web server. So whenever uh, we are loading up um, the image Nginx, it will read the configuration and configure Nginx to produce uh, statistical information. The second container with the name of adapter is actually using the Nginx Prometheus exporter. The Nginx Prometheus exporter is configured via the following arguments to scrape the nginx status page and if you remember while browsing nginx status uh, the nginx will produce for us a statistical information okay so this will configure our nginx prometheus exporter and it will reveal itself on port uh, 9113 now let's go ahead and try to run uh, this deployment in order to have uh, those uh, containers running. So let's uh, display the default information on all namespaces for our cluster. Um, so we have uh, several pods, services, daemon sets, deployments and replica sets. Everything is uh, coming from the direct installation of uh, micro KTS. And now we'll start applying uh, first the uh, config map. Uh, so I'll just type uh, micro KTS uh, kubectl apply minus f nginx uh, config map yaml file and we see that the config map is configured uh, we can get uh, the config map and also we can describe it of course with the config map in front uh, so we see here, this is the configuration which is loaded in memory and is waiting for our deployment to be able to use it. And now let's apply the deployment. Uh, micro KTS, uh, kubectl apply minus f nginx uh, deployment. And we see the deployment is created. And uh, now it's time to see what's happening in the cluster. We see our deployment, it's ready and available. Also, we have our pod configured. So we have uh, two pods, 
one for our nginx uh, server and the other is for the nginx prometheus exporter all right and now let's actually expose uh, those pods uh, using a service let's see the configuration of the service in order for us to be able to browse it later so here we are targeting all the uh, deployment pods which have a label of app uh, equals to web server um, so that's uh, what we are targeting here uh, those two uh, containers inside of the pod what's interesting is that um, we are creating a named pod ngmon so we'll be able to browse on port 8080 which will the service will expose and uh, it will target the uh, port 9113 inside of uh, the container and if you remember this port 9113 was exactly the port where our uh, Prometheus exporter is running so we'll be able with the service uh, to show the information directly from the Prometheus exporter all right so let's apply now the service so micro KTS kubectl apply nginx uh, service and uh, we can actually get services and get endpoints and uh, we see that uh, we have our nginx service and uh, it's pointing to the following container this is the port inside of the container and it's serving the nginx service and we can use the cluster ip and the port 8080 to browse the information inside of the nginx uh, service let's browse port 8080 and we see this is the nginx exporter we can also uh, see the metrics url and that's uh, was our goal to be able to export uh, the information and now uh, the next step is to be able to feed this information inside of the prometheus so for this we'll be using so-called service monitor so its goal will be to check with interval of five seconds whether there is something new inside of our metrics url so on this uh, service and whenever there is something uh, new there to register this information inside of prometheus uh, what's important here in the configuration is that you should use a string name uh, as here in order to uh, connect the service monitor to the service so here we are having a named port with the name of ngmon and the service monitor also is using this port in order to connect to the uh, service and start uh, listening for updates and fetching those updates to uh, prometheus now let's apply the service uh, monitor configuration so type micro k test kubectl apply uh, service monitor yaml and we type minus f for file and here we see an error that's because we haven't uh, enabled uh, uh, prometheus and uh, let's do this uh, so enable prometheus then I will be able uh, to apply the uh, YAML file because it's actually specific uh, to the uh, Prometheus. So I'll just reapply the service monitor manifest configuration. And we see now that it has been successful. And now let's take a look on how we can uh, connect to Prometheus. Uh, so micro ks kubectl get all, all namespaces. And from here we'll see our Prometheus. It's a listening on the following IP with the port 9090. So I'll browse this uh, service. Okay, we'll go to port 9090 and that's the Prometheus. And here uh, from the status uh, we can go to uh, targets. And here we see a lot of predefined uh, targets for monitoring the whole uh, cluster that we're having and now let's find our application uh, or our nginx and as you can see this is our target and this is the endpoint uh, so basically 
the metrics uh, are being successfully uh, read uh, and scrapped by uh, Prometheus. Uh, so uh, that's how. Uh, from here you can uh, make queries on the data and also display the data using uh, Grafana. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you found the information helpful, you can subscribe to the channel.